morning. Good morning, Francesca. Welcome to Nomin. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. What do you all have going on today? We're going to see some math happening. And the great okay. thing is we're talking about ownership of learning. So we'll get to see some goal setting that students have done and then get to see them in action in their math classes. I'm so excited to see it. Let's go. All right. So before we go into the classroom, I'd like to just point out that our students have been setting goals since the beginning of the year. Is there anything that they have to concentrate on specifically or can they just put whatever they want? For this, they were able to put anything they wanted. There is a mix of school goals and personal goals, which I think is great to help make our learners more aware of themselves all around. And they also have data binders where they're able to track some things so we can take a look at that in the classroom as well. Oh, that's great. Can you tell us a little bit about the data binders and how they help students own their learning? We keep track of their growth throughout the year in that data binder. We'll graph our results for different exams that we take, do little snapshots of where they're at on certain days of a month, and track that throughout the year so we can see where we start at the beginning of the year and then where we end up at the end of the year. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing today? We're learning about fractions with um, this money maker app. So we add them with this, and then we can find our answer, which is 50 plus 25 is 75, so it's 0.75 of a dollar. We had the paper versions of all this um, that we would have to get out and fumble through and kind of build our fractions with that. This I was able to assign in a Google Classroom access to this for all the students. So this technology really helps us. I think it's more engaging than just having the paper version of it. Now, since that's in our Google Classroom as a reference material, they can actually go back on other problems and use it to help them uh, continue their learning with it. We did see fifth grade math, but you can see students in all grade levels taking ownership of their learning. And we're really empowering teachers by providing uh, self-directed professional learning so they can really implement this well in their classrooms. It was really impressive to see how they are taking that ownership of their learning in so many different ways because they have the, you know, the pen and paper data binders where they can draw their own charts and they can see, this is where I'm excelling right now and this is where I need to work on. And then they're integrating the new panels in order to work directly with their lessons through electronics and technology. So it was so impressive to see how involved they are in their own learning process. Thank you again for coming to visit us today. And always remember, Knights, Knights have, have heart. heart.